Hi guys, so before I start this video, I just want to let you guys know that this video is part of a collab called Time for a Change. Me and a bunch of ladies from YouTube have decided that we all want to change our lives in one way or another. We've all got different goals, we've all got different ways we're going to do this, but together we really just want to lead healthier lifestyles. So I am the last one to get this initial video up. I will link everyone down below. Please go check out their first videos where they just introduce themselves, where they um, let you guys know their goals and their backstories and everything like that. And then we will be uploading twice a month. I think it's going to be every first and third Friday of a month, um, around 8.30 New Zealand time if we can. These videos will just include weigh-ins, um, where we're at, what we've learned, if we want to change anything, how we're going, all that type of stuff. So please subscribe to everybody, get behind us, show your support, and yeah, let's get on with the Grayson. video. Grayson, you made me fat. Hi guys, and welcome to my first video in this journey, I guess you can call it. So this video is going to be an introduction to what I'm about to do with my lifestyle. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, I will link it below. I've already kind of put up a few little things about it. So you'll know what kind of my plan is and where I'm going. If you don't, I have decided to go sugar free. Now I am kind of making it a month sugar free. That is to hopefully lead into a lifestyle of being sugar free. I want to wean myself into it. So by the time the month's done, I want to be totally sugar free, learnt a lot, um, and yeah, just be ready to go full sugar free. That is, that's the aim of it. The reason I'm doing this is because I am sick of being a big girl. I've always been a big girl. There was one time in my life around when I turned 21, um, I was a single mum, it was just me and Jaden, money was a little bit tight, you know, um, and so I wasn't eating as much, if not a lot, you could almost say I had a bit of a problem, I guess, um, and so I was using the money to obviously feed my son and that kind of thing, and I just didn't eat, and then that turned into a bit of a problem, like I was saying, when I saw the weight dropping off. And I got to my smallest. It, for me though, I, I look at the videos and I look at pictures and I love how I look. But at the same time, a lot of people were saying that I didn't look very healthy. So there, there's been a time in my life where I did look small and I do see the pictures and I was at my lowest, lowest weight ever, which I'll get into soon. Um, and I would love to look like that again, but in a healthy way um, and in a way that I can maintain. So apart from that kind of year where I was... Um, small um, I've always been a chubby person and I hate it I really hate it it is my fault it's nothing you know it's all on me um, I now know that I can be small I can't use excuses like I'm a big bone person or it's genetics I mean it, it probably is genetics we don't have a fast metabolism in my family we're kind of very short in my family but you know it's up to me to take the steps to um, being healthier and I can't blame anyone else but myself. I'm a real sweet tooth. I'm a real binge eater. Um, I'll admit it, that's what I am. So, I've always tried dieting um, and that kind of doesn't work for me and that's because I haven't had the right tools to do it. I can lose a couple of kg. Um, I can go to the gym and go hard out for like a month. I can... Um, go hard out with my walking I can go hard out with a lot of things and I can diet hard out they only last for a short amount of time and this is what you hear so many people saying you know they're only fads they're not lifestyles I can never make them a lifestyle for me um, and so I always gain the weight back I, I never really get anywhere then um, my pregnancies I always gain heaps of weight um, all my pregnancies oh, my first two pregnancies I gained 20 kg um, and then with him I was at my biggest before I started. I hadn't really lost the weight um, off the back of my last pregnancy and I got pregnant with him. I only gained about 10 or so kg but now I'm at my heaviest and I hate it. I am so uncomfortable. I can feel it. Um, I mean I am breastfeeding. My breasts are huge and so I do know that is a lot to do with my weight but it's not all my weight you know there there's a lot of girls with um big boobs and they're not this big um 
I, I, yeah, I, I'm just really uncomfortable and I'm sick of it and I don't want to gain any more weight, which is happening. So when I first had Grayson, I decided to, um, right from the get go, I wasn't going to consume sugar. I wasn't going to sit around and eat a lot. I was never going to get heavier than when I left the hospital. Unfortunately, when I left the hospital, my son brought home chocolate that we had to sell for the school and we kind of just bought it all and then sold it out of our pockets kind of thing. And um, so we had it seen at home and I just went crazy. But what I was doing wrong was I was calorie counting um, and I thought if I added, you know, I was eating that chocolate, but, but I would just put that into the calories, which meant obviously I couldn't eat a lot of other stuff because I'd already used up so many calories in this chocolate. But I was still keeping it under my calorie intake and so I thought it was okay. Um, and then I have had my bad days, I guess, like everyone does. I wasn't very... For the first six weeks after Grayson was born, I was very sick. I didn't move much and then I was counting calories. It turns out I was still eating the wrong foods and I have gained about two or three more kg. So I'm actually at my heaviest that I've ever been without a baby inside me. So there is a mum on here, um, Fern from A Kiwi Mummy, and she decided to cut out sugar. And I've been following her and reading her blogs and all that kind of stuff, and it makes sense. And I think that this is the one thing that will help me because my biggest problem is sugar. I don't have a problem really with carbs or things like that. It's all, it's sugar. It's ridiculous. When I think about cutting out sugar, I was kind of like, that's a lot of foods to cut out but it's not really I've done my homework and that's where I feel like this may actually really work for me because this time I have kind of done a lot of research I have talked to people I've done my homework about it and um you know it's like calorie counting and dieting and all that you eat what you think is healthy if you cut out sugar and read labels to see what the sugar content in that is you actually find that a lot of the foods that you thought were healthy aren't. So I have got my motivation through here. So if you see this video, thank you so much. And thank you for all your help and your messages and all that. Because it really has helped me. And same with Jen from A Thousand Words. Thank you for your input as well. It's really helped me realize where I've gone wrong. So, my plan is obviously to go sugar free for the first month and then see how I'm going. But obviously I want to make a lifestyle change. Um, my goals are to feel better and to lose weight. Um, really. But it's also, yeah, I want I want it to be a lifestyle change. But I really need to get this excess weight off. I am breastfeeding, so I am not going to starve myself. That's why I've given up the calorie counting. That didn't work for me. I was starving. Um, He's a really hungry baby, so I can't be doing that. So it's just pure the sugars, you know, and also not many carbs. No, I'm not going to stuff myself with pasta and potato and all that kind of thing. But um, yeah, so that's what's happening. And this first month is going to be just learning and doing what I can. You know, I'm going to muck up as I go, but that is, that's what this first month is. And I hope to get to the end of the month and be like, I've got it. You know, this is what it is. Um, I've been warned that the first month can be very hard because just it's almost an addiction, which I understand. Um, and you can crave those sugars and your body can go into a bit of a panic over that. So I'm going to allow myself to have those moments where I just freak out and might have to or something like that. But I am going to learn tools um, the way around all that little things I can eat like I am gonna buy just little um just dark chocolate and have like one or two pieces when that happens but I'm gonna put it away you know I'm going I'm not gonna have it in my cupboard I'm gonna put it away up high where I have to get a chair and get up to get it if I want it that kind of thing and um, because I'm really bad at just walking past the cupboard and grabbing something that's really easy to get so I am gonna have a few little snacky things um like that but they are not going to be in my reach where I can just walk past and I'm going to try my best to do other things before I reach for them anyway. So that is kind of what is going on at the moment. I'm also exercise wise where I'm going to try and walk most days, try to do weights. I love doing weights. Just 
at home um press ups squats and um a few like back exercises things like that because i really love the toning side of losing weight i like having like nice arms and all that kind of stuff so i'm definitely going to do that which i will kind of set myself a routine and then let you guys know what that is we have a walk in town which we call the loop um, and it's a good hour walk and I'm going to try and do that twice a day I don't like to walk on my own so it's if I've well not around big walks like that um, so I am going to only be able to do that when I have a friend to do that but twice a week is what I'm going to go for um, and then little walks from my neighborhood I live in such a great neighborhood that I can do that so I will yeah I'm gonna write myself out a real plan and see how I do with that and let you guys know my exercise the what I'm doing so um, the big thing is that I really want to put out there <laughs> I don't want to but I need to I guess uh, as more what I should say is my starting weight um, the reason I put this out there is because I'm determined that I will be smaller so it will be just a past thing it won't be a big deal once I hit it um, but for now that my starting weight remember that I am three months postpartum I did stack on a bit of weight I do have quite heavy boobs at the moment but for me um my starting weight is 91 kg about that um so at my smallest like I was saying earlier I got down to 60 kg that was without any muscle or anything though I did just lose a lot of weight for me, I think a healthy weight, if I want to be like toned and all that kind of stuff at the end of it, I want to be sitting around the 65 to 70 kg mark, I guess. So I want to be losing a good, I'm looking at losing a good 15 kg or so to at least be feeling semi what decent and then just slowly from there. Um, I am going to do 5 kg lots though. I'm not going to say, oh, in three months time I want to be... Um, weighing this because it, it just puts too much pressure on myself so I'm gonna do 5 kg lots so right now I just want to get down to 85 kg which was my pre-pregnancy weight um, and I know that that will be a good boost for me at that time when I first got pregnant I was feeling terrible I felt really heavy and I was like oh my goodness now I've got upon baby weight but from being what I am now and losing 5 kg I know it'll be a great boost for me so that's my first goal um, and kind of I want to be losing half a kg to a kg a week if I can um the, the big picture though is we are just going into winter at the moment this is the perfect time for me to be doing this because it gives me enough time to lose this weight and change my lifestyle in a comfortable way that way I don't have to be um rushing it or starving myself or anything like that because through winter you can add the layers you can you know you don't have to be wearing like not revealing clothes but you know you, you rug up because it is cold um it's not summer where it's so hot and i can't wear a singlet and shorts because i feel uncomfortable you know so it's a good time for me to kind of be at this way i guess um and my long-term goal is by the time we're hitting the summer so it's about six months away I want to be totally feeling comfortable being able to wear little summer dresses, singlets, shorts, all that kind of stuff um, and be um, comfortable in it. So the, the big long term goal is to go sugar free. I want a lifestyle of being sugar free and I want to just be feeling good and looking good and being happy with myself by summer. Anyway guys. Um, please subscribe if you want to follow me on this journey please put down below any tips you've got for me i'm all about getting the tips it's definitely helping me it's things that i never realized um go and like my facebook page because i'll put a lot more on there like um more updates than i will get up on here and i will see you guys in my next video bye